It is 1957, and most people driving by this plot of land along the border of Des Moines and Urbandale saw farm fields and a monastery. But not Joseph Abel and Bernard Greenbaum. They saw the future of retail in Iowa. They saw a mall, the Merle Cave Mall. It began as an open-air retail novelty, one of its kind in Iowa. And a trip to Merle Hay instantly became an occasion, a destination for folks across Iowa. Um, it used to be a huge point of pride to my grandfather at Sunday dinner that when you drove up to the Merle Hay Plaza parking lot, there was a license plate from every one of the 99 counties in the state. For decades, Merle Hay was a regional go-to for dates, family shopping and bowling trips, and nights out on the town. But a mall can't survive on memories. I suppose we're lucky. We're both kind of facing the same story, where we're in a 60-year-old building. We need to be able to, to play hockey. When Bonton, which owned Yonkers, went into bankruptcy, they put a sign on the building that said, for sale or lease. And the president of the Buccaneers, Nate Toit, was driving by and gave a call. We want to be in Des Moines, Urbandale. We've been here for 40 years. We want to be here for 40 more. Two years later, here we are. If the last 60 years have taught any lessons, it's that change is constant, necessary, and vital. Retail has always been a transformative business. You really have to fight not becoming obsolete. A major facelift for a metro mall, unlike anything that Iowa has ever seen before. Investors say this won't stop their vision of progress at Merle Hay Mall. Old area of the mall is being transformed into something shiny and new. That's big for Merle Hay Mall. And now the time for change has come again. To try and uh, keep this mall going with only retail, it would be probably a recipe for disaster. You drive around in a lot of cities, you're going to see a lot of properties like this that are completely closed and shuttered. It's time to reimagine this once vibrant space. This is really the next step uh, in the evolution of Merle Hay Mall in this entire area. I think what's incredible about it is when you see the renderings that it's the existing structure. And breathe new life into its bones. What's great about this project is, is that we're not knocking anything down. We're reusing existing roadways, existing parking lots, existing stormwater. Cost was halved when we found a way to reuse this building. And those changes will be transformational. Youth sports and youth activity are such a vital part of the community. And in partnering with the Buccaneers, we felt like we could really put Des Moines on the hockey map. 235 million bucks of new tax revenue, facilitated by only 30 million in Reinvestment Act allocation. Totally convinced that this is going to uh, re-engage this property for the next 50 to 75 years. Changes that include 370,000 additional visitors a year. It would be a regional draw and catalyst uh, for the city of Des Moines, central Iowa, all of Iowa for that matter. Over $211 million in sales taxes. This is a one-stop shop for people coming into town. Over $11 million in lodging taxes. You can check into a hotel, you can walk in, you can watch your son or daughter play, you can get some groceries, you can go out to eat, and you can go back to your hotel and you don't have to leave. Over 1,000 jobs generated. So we are really ready. Like we were really ready a year ago when, you know, everything shut down. We've been working uh, with our partners, with both the Bucks and Merle Hay and Polk County and the city of Des Moines. So we're ready to go on this and we're anxious to get started on this. It's just a matter of finalizing everything, getting the permits and we're off and running. The current schedule is that we would start construction in August. In fact, if everything moves according to plan, the Buccaneers might be playing on this spot in 2022. That's just a, over a year and a half away. Good for a total economic impact of nearly $127 million. Just like any investment um, in anything, people love to see a return on their investment and a return on their investment quickly. Whatever the state invests in this, it's gonna see an immediate return faster than anything else that's out there. We're gonna to get to a great position here and have a, a real gem for not only the city of Des Moines and the city of Urbandale, but it's gonna be for central Iowa and the state as a whole. The former Sears store, gone. But in its place, an improved retail center, enhancing the Merle Hay Road side of the mall. But the signature of this project, the reason we're here today, it lies among these vacant beauty counters. 
We're standing here because you're going to see these counters go away and this is going to be a hockey rink. Well, the plan is to make this particular spot um, a 3,500-seat multi-use arena with a practice sheet on it and then ultimately expand that into a training facility uh, with two more sheets of ice. The transformation of this space into a multi-purpose arena and more that will serve as the home of the Des Moines Buccaneers is what will forge the path forward for Merle Hay Mall. And the advantage of having so many sheets of ice in one location is that you can host 64 team tournaments. 64 teams is 1,200 kids. Forget about parents and coaches and spectators. I mean, Des Moines has been a, a three-sheet hockey town for three decades. The sheets of ice are like gold. They've been stuck on, a, on 600 youth players for, for three decades. And that number is not going to go up unless we can add more sheets of ice. It will become a space as unique as the mall itself, which calls both Des Moines and Urbandale home. When you think about the regional draw, we will be the only facility of its kind in the country. It is just one of the things that brings the uniqueness to the northwest side of Des Moines and the city as a whole. The sky's the limit for the kind of things that they want to put in here. It's a catalyst and everything's going to just start blossoming around here. And, and quite frankly, it's an opportunity too where uh, we can help grow Des Moines youth sports, youth hockey particularly. I think you add all those things together and this project becomes very, very unique and very needed. We're asking our state partners to help make this vision become reality in the very near future. We really felt like this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to really change the profile of the mall, how people see it, how people use it. It's a pretty simple formula and it's one that we know will work. It's about transforming the space back to its roots. It's about giving families from across Iowa and the Midwest a new reason to keep coming back to Merle Hay. I'm gonna really enjoy when that puck hits the ice and those uh, sticks start moving. It's gonna be an exciting time. That will be, that will be a very happy day. He scores!